Hey guys, how you going? How's it going there? I just want to do a quick update here. Talk a little bit about eggplants and aquaponics. If you ever wondered if you can grow eggplants in it, well, here's some proof that you can. Um, I got three nice plants on here. I got some other blooms. Hopefully, they'll get going. Tomato plants still in here, but I just got it basically to suck up some of the extra nit nitrates and stuff. It, I don't think it's going to get be much on it. The pepper plant's doing good. This tomato plant branched out and it's went way down the line, way over here. It's got some tomatoes on it. Heck, I was kind of surprised. I kind of given up on it. Um, the okra is still going, but you can see it's lost a lot of leaves, but there's a bunch of it still on there to top be picked. I just can't eat okra fast as this thing's putting it out. That's the bottom line. But listen, just want to let you know some upcoming things. I've been trying to shoot a couple videos. I actually introduced myself to you. I want to thank all the subscribers out there. You guys coming on the channel. I plan on really doing a bunch of changes with this hydroponic system or the aquaponic system and the hydroponic system over the winter. Uh, doing a couple, maybe an NFT build, a small one, and trying to go through that with you guys. And like I said, I'll introduce myself on camera. I started to make a video, it got messed up. So, anyways, I just want to give you guys a shout out. Oh, let me hold on. Let me show you one other thing too. I want to tell you about. Hold on. Well, you can't really see it now. It rained in this bucket. This was fish food. And I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about the importance of fish food. Um, you know, I'm new to aquaponics. I did a lot of studying before I did it, you know, but I didn't know a lot about raising fish. But uh, one thing I found out was, and I kind of knew it to be true, is you got to, you know, I did have high grade fish food, but the problem is it goes bad after a while. And so I got a little busy and, uh, my wife was one that pointed out, she goes, don't you see this fish food's a little bit moldy? And I couldn't let my eyesight into the best. And it was inside. And I guess I had it by a window in my shed and it kind of got wet. And it did get a little bit moldy. And I looked at the shelf life of food, did some research. And after a while, food just loses its, the fish food. Now, somebody can tell me if I'm wrong. They say it loses its nutritional value. And I ended up losing a pretty good amount of brim in the tank. You know, I don't know, probably 10 or 15 or so. Um, but I, and then plus I got so busy my one um, radio flow filter there it was clear as a bell but it had a bunch of stuff on the bottom and I didn't get it cleaned out I don't think that contributed to it I think it was the food not having no nutritional value and being moldy but as you can see the water is good and clear here in the fish tank I got a lot of fish that are doing good um, but be, that food is important guys real important make sure that you know if you get a big bag you got to keep a place to get it really dry and and actually let it, uh, you know, don't keep it for too long. I'd say, I don't know exactly what the shelf life is. If it was four months, five months, six months, I don't know. But uh, you got to make sure you keep that nutritional value up in the food because it wasn't good. Anyways, hope that helps you out a little bit um, on the food. And if anybody else knows more about the food, raised fish, you know, know a lot more about it, I appreciate the shout out. Let me know, uh, I, you know, if, there's, if you know something different than that. But uh, anyways... Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be getting back with you shortly. Really appreciate you subscribers out there. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you hate it, that's fine, too. Just do it. And then if you leave a comment, let me know why you hate it. Maybe I can do something better in the future. Uh, anyways, hey, you guys have a great one. And thanks a lot. Bye.